It's Friday night. It's jerky night. Tonight it's episode 13 of our jerky time. I don't know any longer what uh, day it is as far as the self-isolation days goes. It's getting up there. But we're going to go ahead and make our jerky tonight. Tonight our recipe is for oriental jerky. And the marinade consists of one and a half cups of soy sauce, which is a lot of soy sauce, six drops of Tabasco, one quarter cup of white or cane sugar, one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger, one quarter teaspoon of paprika, and one garlic clove crushed. Now, I've already measured out the soy sauce that I had on hand. I only had two and a half cups of soy sauce, so uh, for the two pounds of meat I have, I would have needed three cups. So I've only got the two and a half cups. Uh, so we're going to modify the uh, rest of the recipe so that the ratio stays the same with the ingredients. We're going to drop them all down by one-sixth, or an estimated in some of the smaller measurements, just a little less. Um, I'm also concerned with uh, liquid volume of that amount, that it's not going to fit within the Snugtopia. So we may have to either go with the old vacuum bag or just let it set in a container, uh, not vacuumed. Uh, either way, we still have to cut the meat, so that's where we're at. Let's go ahead and get the meat cut. We'll worry about the marinade later. I was able to get a nice uh, eye, eye round roast, so it's perfect for uh, what we're doing. We do prefer the eye round. It's excellent uh, and has proven to be just the right uh, tenderness. So let's go ahead and get it cut up. All right, well there you have it, the meat's cut up. I really have great doubt this is going to uh, fit into the Snugtopia, so I'm not even gonna try that. So there's quite a bit of meat cut up. The volume is pretty uh, pretty big. And uh, the liquid part is going to be very voluminous as well. So I think I might actually just um, use a, a bowl and um, you know, put some cellophane over the top of it and let it ride like that. I don't think I have much choice this time. So uh, we're going to go with that and uh, let's, uh, let's get it marinating. So I'm going to be using this bowl. It's, it's big enough, but it's also flat. I can get it spread out and I think that'll do better for getting all the marinade over the top. So let's go ahead and just put this in and just make a layer on the bottom here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make, uh, let's go ahead and finish up the marinade and get it in the fridge. All right, start out with two and a half cups of soy sauce. And so 12 drops of Tabasco sauce. Now we're cutting that by one sixth, so we'll just put in 10 drops. quarter cup of white or cane sugar, one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger, one half a teaspoon of paprika, so we'll just short it just a little bit, and two garlic cloves crushed. Little whisk. All 
All right, there we have it. We'll go ahead and cover this up, put it in the fridge, get it, uh, get it on the dehydrator tomorrow, see what, how it turns out. It smells delicious, it smells oriental, whatever that means. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get it in the fridge. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's Saturday morning. The meat's marinated overnight. Uh, I think I'm going to actually, because of the quantity of liquid here, I'm going to go ahead and run it through a strainer and then uh, just pick it out that way. Now, I had some suggestions from some viewers that maybe take a paper towel and pat it down to take some of the liquid off. And I've done that in the past, and I felt that it removed some of the flavoring when I did that. So I'm not going to pat it down. I'm just going to leave it wet but I'm going to get rid of the majority of the uh, liquid through the strainer and then work, work it from there. So, on that note, let's go ahead and uh, get this loaded up and uh, let's get this started. I'm excited to see how this turns out. All right, so it's strained. Looks nice and dark and delicious. So we're going to go ahead and uh, load it up. All right, and there we have it. Five trays perfectly. We're gonna fire this up, let it run for a few hours, and we'll be back to uh, check in on it, see how it's doing. All right, see you in a couple hours. All right, it's been a couple hours. Let's take a look and see what we've got. As is pretty normal, uh, the bottom is mostly done, the top is not done. So we're going to go ahead and just rotate it and let it run for another hour. So we'll see it, we'll see it back in a, in a little bit. All right, so it's been about four and a half hours. Um, it looks like at least the top tray is done. We're going to go ahead and give this a try and see what we think. Smells pretty good. Okay. The soy sauce, of course, is very prevalent. But initially, I had uh, quite a bit of the sweetness from the sugar, and then it got to the soy which quickly overwhelmed the rest of the flavor. The tenderness is always as, as good as it is with this eye round. I like it. Definitely tastes almost like a steak teriyaki kind of a thing. So it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, scale of one to 10, I'd give it a seven. Not the best, but it's certainly gonna be something I'm gonna be snacking on all week for sure. So, all right, well, there you go. Uh, we'll see you back here in two weeks for the next episode, and uh, I think the next episode is going to be, oh yeah, Raging Cajun Jerky. Should be interesting. We'll see you then.